Ken, so you've just been appointed the first team manager for the Bohemians women's team. First of all, welcome to the club. Can I just get your thoughts on everything that's happened this week and what led to you getting the role here at Bose? Yeah, so um, I was uh, spoke to Pat and the board and they um, asked me would I be interested in getting involved in the women's team as manager and I was just so excited and the idea of being involved at this club, a fantastic club, was just something that I just had to jump on and take the opportunity. Obviously, you're coming from a experienced and winning background with at Lone Town last year. Obviously, winning the women's FAI Cup. Um, how do you think that experience is going to translate over now to the Bows? Yeah, well, like when we went in first, it was the same thing. It was building on what was there, building on the foundations that were put in by some brilliant people that worked with the players already. So we just we worked a certain way, we trained a certain way. It was a really good uh, approach to everything we done on and off the pitch and. That's what I'm looking to bring now into Bohemians. So, you know, we'll train with purpose. We'll uh, we'll have a plan and everything we do on and off the pitch. And we're just looking forward to building, as I said, on on, on the, the strong foundations that are there already. And I haven't had the chat with, with Pat and some of the members of the board. And what was it that really sold uh, Bows to you? I think I think the big, the really standout thing was the the involvement in the community and how everything is structured as a you know the the, the 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 club is for the community and uh, it really kind of it's really established and um, there's a real connection with kind of every every member that's involved and every every member that comes to watch matches so when we've come to watch games actually watch the women's games you could see that in the crowd attendance and uh, it's just a, it's a fantastic place to come um, the other thing that stood out a lot was the uh, the facilities, so the facilities are second to none up in DCU. Uh, the players have access to such a, an amazing uh, group of staff. The strength conditioning, the, the the gym setup, it's just the pitches. They're just amazing for players to develop and uh, for the for the team to develop. And what is it that you believe that you can bring to to balls now that that makes you the man for this job? I suppose that I've been working in the women's game now a few seasons, and I've helped develop players individually to reach international level so uh, understanding what it takes to be I suppose a high performer and uh, I think having that understanding of what it takes to train properly uh, prepare properly um, and everything that goes with that to become an, an elite footballer um, I suppose that mentality is what, I'd, what I think I can bring to the individuals in the group um, and then obviously from a, a team perspective uh, having kind of had real success at underage level and then into uh, the season just gone at Lone Town, I feel that we can build a really good environment and help the team learn to win and help help the team learn to uh, play a really attractive brand of football. You're obviously coming from an assistant role then at Lone into the first team manager um, here at Bowes. How are you looking forward to that role? Yeah, well, like I've kind of uh, obviously I was the manager at the underage uh, level and then working with. The manager last year was very much. Uh, we were very much together on decision making, and it was a. Uh, it was quite very much a partnership. So that will be the same this season with my assistant manager, um, and I suppose you know the strengths I have will kind of complement the strengths of the assistant manager. So, uh, regardless of whether it was the, the, the assistant manager or not last year, I think uh, it's always about partnerships in football. It's always it's always about relationships, and it's always about how you. You trust people, and you you know you walk together, and you know you you figure things out as you go along. There's a solid foundation here at the club in terms of the on the playing side. I know that here today, as we're recording this, we have Rachel Kelly here, our captain. Um, we also have Fiona Donnelly here, who was our player of the season last year. Um, so a lot there to work with. Um, and there was a lot of improvements made last year as well. And here's, we moved up the table slightly on points. Um, a lot of clean sheets kept as well. What goals have you now um, set for the season? I guess in terms of uh, what you'd hope to achieve with the set of players that you have at hand, and hopefully whoever, whoever you bring in as well. Yeah, look, I, as you said yourself, there. I think um, building on the foundations that are there already is going to be really important. And then you know the players that we bring in will help will help develop the squad but as a group we'll come together and we'll figure out those goals uh, as a group um, I know personally you know we all have things that we want to achieve and you know we'll we'll come together and we'll establish those kind of goals as a group that's probably the way we'll work things but for me personally you know we'll be going out to win every game 
we'll be going out to play on the front foot. It'll be, you know, there'll be a lot of hard work put in at, in, in training in the off season, and um, we're just looking forward to kind of establishing ourselves as one of the top the top teams in the country. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world. Welcome aboard, and it's nice to have you here. Brilliant. Thank you.